We are grateful for the local leaders and public servants in our communities, even though they may not show up in the national news. They faithfully shepherd our counties, our cities, and our city services. Paul reminded the Ephesian church that they should regularly pray for those in civic authority, which we will do today. Here's Pastor Jim Bradford with today's Central Moment. I welcome you to Central Moments. We are um, on the last week of, of two different things. First of all, the last week of our four weeks of prayer. And we're praying for our country, our leaders, and nations of the world uh, this week. And so thank you for joining with me for that. We're following the prayer guide, uh, the 28-day journey in prayer that I woke, wrote a few years ago. And also, uh, this is our last week of producing brand new central moments. Uh, we have been doing this for three and a half years. We've done over a thousand of these now. And beginning next week, after we're done this fourth week of prayer, we'll be reposting the central moments from 2021, where we started in Genesis and took a year to go through the Bible, Genesis to Revelation. We'll be reposting those. But thank you for those of you who just tune in so faithfully all the time. Today, we're going to pray again. Yesterday, we prayed for national leaders hearing the words of the Apostle Paul um, to pray for one another, and especially those who are in governing authority. Now, in Paul's time, you couldn't elect leaders. Uh, you, you had leaders imposed on you from uh, both the Roman government and the local officials. And we're going to pray for local leaders today. Um, whether you voted for them or you voted against them, that's irrelevant. This is not about politics. It's about the kingdom of God. And I remember the first time I served as pastor of Central Assembly a number of years ago, there was a pastor in town who had a lot of influence, and, and he would once a month gather other pastors in town, and I used to always enjoy uh, joining them for a one-hour lunch once a month. And at that lunch, he would invite a different local leader. Um, sometimes it would be the mayor, sometimes it would be the school district superintendent, sometimes it would be um, uh, the chief sheriff or, or, or the fire chief uh, in the city, sometimes it would be the county board of uh, supervisors, director. But he would have one guest in, we would eat a meal together, and then he would interview that guest uh, for 15 minutes. Uh, some of our local leaders are born-again believers. They're Christians. We're grateful for that. But, but not all of them. Some of the leaders we had in had really no particular Christian sympathies. But the last question he would always ask that leader after the interview um, would, be, would be, how can we pray for you? And you know what? Whether they're Christians or not, they always had an answer for that. And, and th this, in some senses kind of helped us advance our obedience to the Word of God that we pray for our leaders. And it also, interestingly enough, humanized those leaders. So we get caught up in all of this, this harsh division politically, and, and sometimes, you know, sometimes we had Republican, Republican leaders in, in the local scene, sometimes Democrat leaders, sometimes in, some of those leaders were independents, as I mentioned, some were Christians, some weren't Christians. It didn't matter. We wanted to know how to pray for them. And then they were talk, talk, talking about their families and the stresses they were under. And it just humanized these people. And you go, no wonder the Lord called us to pray for governing leaders. And I, want, I just want you to pray for the leaders in your city or your town right now, wherever that may be. Father, we thank you for those who serve in local government. Uh, of whatever kind, those who oversee the fire services and the police services, those who oversee the school district, those who oversee our city, the, the members of the city council, our mayor. My God, we pray that you will touch them by your spirit. We pray for our leaders. We know they, whether we agree politically with them or whether they even love you or not, Lord, they face family issues, they face stresses, they face the brutality of public opinion and needing to keep a tender heart and yet a thick skin. We pray you'll help them, Lord. 
We thank you for the price they're willing to pay to serve our communities. And whether we agree with them all the time or not, we trust you to put your hand on them. We pray that we will honor them and, and get to know them and pray for them regularly. Touch our local leaders, I pray. We thank you for them. We thank you for the order they keep in, in our communities and, and the public services that are available to us as a result of their willingness to lead. And so we pray that you'll put your hand on them, guide them with wisdom, and we pray for every one of them that they will come to a saving knowledge of you, that, Lord Jesus, they will come to you and be forgiven of their sins and, and become your child. We pray for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.